Hello again everybody. I'm testing a mass airflow sensor. Now, as you can see, this is the diagram. Pink wire, 12 volts. Black and white ground, top body ground. Signal is computer wire, the yellow wire. Let's go see. Okay, pink wire, black, yellow. So, this one, pink is the B+. Okay, what I did was, I didn't have back probes to insert it inside, so I had to open up the terminal, put wires going into the connector, and then I press down on it, making contact with the mass airflow sensor. Pink one should be 12 volts. Since we have the alternator running, it's going to be closer to 14 volts. Let's see. Okay. I'm at the pink. This is the pink. See the pink? And the meter is almost 14 volts. Why? Because the alternator is running. Okay? This one is connected to this one. Black one is ground. As you see, I have ground over here. Ground, black one. That's ground. The other one, this one, going from the scope, is going the signal wire. Now remember I showed you we, we, should, we should have a signal. So the signal, hopefully you can read it this time. We were aiming for a signal like this. As you can see, on the scope, as you can see, you see they're pretty linear. What I mean by that is they're pretty equal. The pulse is going down. This is a digital pulse. So digital pulses are 5 volts, highs and lows. So therefore, pulse is going down, coming back up here. The other one up here, here. They're all equal. From here to here is equal. From here to here is equal in length. This is frequency, the period. And this is the peak to peak. The frequency is around 2 kilohertz. Pulse width over here, this one is approximately this one, and it, it, it's about 81%. If they would be even, it would be 50%, they're not. Now, the volts maximum and all these volts peak to peak means from here to here, they should measure about 5 volts. That's what the computer gives you. The computer takes 12 volts gives the sensor 5 volts so from highest point to lowest point should be around 5 volts peak to peak the RMS value be around this one and the average would be about this so if you, the average would be about this now <coughs> interesting part is I have this on AC this is running on a DC I filtered out the DC part of it because it goes up in other words, the DC will be down here, the signal will be up here. Watch what happens when I change the setting of the scope. Okay, trigger it. You see how everything changed? Where's the DC? The DC is over here, it's riding on top of it. Okay, frequency is still this, duty is still this, duty cycle, but the volts maximum is still around 5 volts, and, and peak to peak is also around 5 volts, because it's riding on a DC, here's a DC. If I want, which I'm going to do, I'm going to filter out the DC to make it easier. As we're, looking for, we're looking for equal cycles. I were looking for no spikes. You don't see a spike go up or down because that confuses the computer. I were looking for around five volts. So therefore, let's put it back where it is. And you see? See how it went down? It, 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 fil it filtered out. It filtered out the DC. We're left with AC.
and look at the frequency and look at the volts. So you don't have to count any boxes with this. You just look at volt speed to peak, which is the maximum over here. It's around five volts. Let's give it a little snap throttle. Okay. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. Now, did you see the frequency change? You should have. With a snap throttle. So the frequency changed, but it's still, it was linear. The problem would be, let's say if you have one pulse, let's say, let's say where you would have one pulse here, different from the other ones. Then you have a problem with the mass airflow sensor. You saw the frequency change, you saw it, compressed together meaning frequency is going getting higher that's what we're looking for we're looking for no spikes we're looking for linearity they should all be the same and the frequency should go up and this is a little lean so we're at about 20 percent so we're at about 20 percent actually so since we're at 20 percent short-term fuel fuel trim it's a little lean but for the sake of demonstration i think you get the idea we want this type of this is not a perfect square wave it's not a square wave square wave, square wave would be one box here positive one box negative this is not that for gm i hope you understood this and i hope you saw demonstration of this we'll go to the intake air temperature sensor and like i said you can see this scope it, is the best that I found for viewers because it is so simple. All you do is look at the numbers and digital readout. Thanks for watching.